everybody, Sticky Piston here, back with another video. Now today, we are, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to download my Minecraft worlds and add-ons. Now, first things first, what you want... Now, this is going to be a tutorial for iOS. It will be practically the same for Windows or Android. I think Android might be a bit different. So to start out, what you want to do is you want to go to the video for the thing you want to download. So for this demonstration, I am going to download my extra tools, oars and tools mod. So I'm just going to pause that. You can either go down to the comments or you can click the description and there will be a download file. Now this, now the add-ons will come in the form of an MC add-on file. But the worlds, like my Alfata challenge, come in both a zip and MC world. So if you are doing the worlds, I recommend you go with the bottom option, the MC world. Oops. But anyways, uh, let's get started. So we're going to click the video, obviously. I'm just going to go down to the comments and you'll see... This pinned comment at the top that says downloads, uh, I'm just going to click it and then you, you, want, you can either, you can choose any one of the options on this list. I'll just choose default browser. And you'll see it open up in your browser and it will give you uh, this Google Drive link. And I'll just turn this thing sideways. And what we're going to do is you see here at the top right, there's this little download button. You want to click that. And basically what it will do is it will take you, it, your browser might pop up with a thing here, depending on what browser you're using. There might be like a little download thing in the top right, but whatever it happens, you want to click download and it will say download finished. So then what you want to do is, I think if you're in Safari, there's a download icon on the top right. What you want to do is just click it and then just click the file. And But, but I'm here on Opera, so what I want to do is click open in and... All my, and my add-ons work in both regular Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Preview. I'm just going to click Preview. And what we want to do is just wait. And eventually you'll get a message at the top of your screen saying Import Success. So it says Import Started. And it says Successfully Imported and it just disappears, okay? So what we want to do is we want to click play, pre play preview and then, or just play, click create new, create new world. And then what you can do is, you can either create a new world or go into an existing world. If you want to do this in an existing world, what you want to do is, uh, I'm just going to find a random world here, my some testing world, why not? Actually, no, I'm going to do this on a separate world. So what you want to do is you want to click resource packs, click my packs, and then you see extra ores and tools or whatever you want you pick. You want to click add and then you want to go to the behavior packs and click activate and click add. So then what we want to do is uh, just wait. This is going to take a while, so I'll just cut to where it finishes. Okay, so just finished, and you might get a thing that says me texture fallback or whatever if you have low memory, but just ignore that, it really doesn't matter. But now you should see if we go here, and I think it's under this tab, you should see that... All the stuff works. Oh, and by the way, this is that Seek the Tool Set, uh, the Sticky Tools. I added this as a little joke, if anyone found it. These tools are actually quite good, the Sticky Tools. But anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. 
and tune for what's coming up next on my channel uh this swappable fireplace where you can change the color of the fire so stay tuned for that it's actually coming later today but anyways guys that's it for me have a lovely day and goodbye